everybody, I'm Aaron Edgar, and I'm here at Drumeo HQ in Abbotsford, and we've got a super killer lesson for you today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna learn three sick polyrhythm grooves that every drummer should know. Now, what I mean by that is we're gonna take our right hand on either our ride cymbal or a stack, doesn't matter which cymbal it is, but our right hand pattern over a groove polyrhythmically. We're gonna do three different types of grooves. We're gonna have one with a pattern that's three sixteenth notes long going over our bar line one that's 5 16th notes, and finally one that's 7 16th notes. Let's get right into it and take a look at this first example. The right hand pattern that we're gonna use is basically a shuffle. You know, you hear something like this. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Let's just count out how the 316 works against a quarter note first. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. And right there it lines up back on the beat. So it'll take three quarter notes for this right hand pattern to work. However, we're gonna throw it over a four on the floor beat, which means it's gonna take three bars of four four for that pattern to line back up at the beginning. So here's how it works over three bars of four four. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. So now let's line this guy up with our metronome at both 70 and 100 BPM. The next beat that we're gonna learn has one of my favorite five sixteenth note patterns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first note of those five and put it on the ride bell as an accent. And then the third and fourth note, we're gonna play just on the ride normally a little bit quieter. Whole thing sounds like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. 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 Now this thing, kind of like how the three worked, it's gonna take five bars of four four for this to repeat back to the beginning of beat one. All right, now that we know what it sounds like, let's try and line this up with our metronome at both 70 and 100 BPM. So the next beat that we're gonna look at takes a 716 pattern. And what we're gonna play for that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what we're gonna play on the right hand with our ride cymbal over our four on the floor beat. 
So it'll be seven bars of 4-4 four, four before this thing loops back around to beat one. So it's a really long phrase. Make sure you take it really slow and pay attention to exactly where all these ride cymbal notes line up. Before we start playing around with the metronome, let's just hear what it sounds like with a beat. So now let's line this guy up with our metronome at both 70 and 100 BPM. All right, so I hope you have fun learning these polyrhythmic ride patterns that we can put over a beat. Now, we used four on the floor just to demonstrate these, but you could take these patterns and use them over literally any beat. In fact, if this is something you wanted to work on more, you can click the link right below this video and sign up for a totally free 30-day trial of Drumeo where we have an entire course working on these. We've run it through a bunch of different beats, a bunch of different variations, not to mention in the Edge Library, we have tons of polyrhythm content and tons of it on grooves. Until next time, I'll see you guys inside the next video. Bye.